and in this video I will be interviewing a witness from West Virginia who has claimed to have an alien encounter as well as poltergeist activity in their home. The following audio is the interview. Okay, so do I have your permission to record and publish this interview? Yes. Okay. You've said before that you've had uh, what could be described as like an alien experience, so I wanted to know if you could share that story. Okay. Probably around four in the morning, I woke up kind of like in a daze. Not really woke up, but kind of like half asleep to these two things on the side of my bed. One, The tallest one was around 52 inches tall, and the shortest one was around 46 inches tall. And they had their hands like on my stomach. I could feel them with my stomach, like they were trying to do something with my stomach. And it was like they were, it was alien-like figures. They were like a grayish collar. It was like they were trying to, I don't know, I don't really know how to describe it to you. But it was like as soon as I seen them was there, it was like I was in another state of mind or something. But it was like they were just trying to do something with my stomach. They had like their little hands. I could see their hands and their arms. They were Their arms was really skinny. Their fingers was really skinny. And like they had just three fingers. It wasn't even a full hand. Okay. And uh, is it true that this is like at a time when you were pregnant? Is that, uh, am I remembering that correctly? No, after I had both of my kids. Okay. So um, do you remember like what year this was? It's been a couple of years ago. It's probably been at least probably eight years ago, nine years ago. So they, they came into your room when you were asleep and uh, woke you up? It was like I was just in another state of, state of mind. Like I just kind of woke up and they were already staying in there. But it was like as quick as I seen them, it was like a matter of matter of minutes that they were gone. Okay. And uh, after they left, did the, did the weird feeling remain or did it go away? Or how did you feel after they were gone? Uh, I could feel that that was something like like pressure on my stomach. Okay, so they put their their hands upon your stomach and then they left. Is that the only thing that happened during the experience? Yep, yep. They were there like minutes and then it was just gone. It just like they disappeared, just like total vanished. Okay. Did they walk into the room? Did they appear suddenly in the room? How did uh, you first I just, see them? Like woke up to them being there okay already there and could you uh describe them again like what they look like yep they had like you know how people say on tv or something how their head is made and shaped weird they mm -hmm. were made like that and they had like one wrinkle on the top of their head and big big eyes but they had like a short skinny neck and a little body with long skinny arms okay and only like three little fang like three fingers on their hands Hmm, that's interesting. The the hands, only three fingers. Um, yeah, like and, three fingers. And you said how, how tall they were. You said in inches, so were, like, could you say that in feet? Uh, probably four foot and um, like five foot probably. One was just a little bit smaller than the other one. Did their bodies look thin or large or like what's their thin. body shape like? Thin. Their, head, their heads was bigger than like their bodies. Okay, so like a bulbous head? Yes. Okay. Well, it definitely sounds like, you know, what people think of when they think of aliens, right? Mm-hmm. That's exactly what it looked like. Like, what you see on TV is exactly what they look like. But to me, their, their arms were smaller and their hands were smaller. Like, they had long, skinny fingers. Did anything happen in the aftermath of this experience? Nope. Okay. Like, so were you alone in the bed, or were, was there a, a person sleeping beside of you? Husband beside me. Okay. And was he awoken to this? No. Just me. Okay, and did you tell him in the morning what happened? Yeah. And what did he say? No, nothing really. Nothing surprises him out of me. <laughs> okay. Do the people around you believe uh, you when you tell this story, or is it uh, they doubt it, or what, what do people generally think about this story? I haven't told many. Just him and, like, some family members. Uh, and what do you think about the experience? Oh, it was real. Totally real. Do you have any way of, uh, like, rationalizing it? Like, uh, what you would guess, like, it could have been this, it could have been that? No. No, I just know it was two aliens. It had to be alien forms, because it was alien forms. It had to be those. And uh, would you consider the experience a, a negative experience, a neutral experience? Uh, neutral. It didn't bother me. It was, like, no, not harmful. After the experience, did you want to, like, look into more ideas of, like, aliens or things like that? No. 
ever read up on like UFOs or alien encounters? No. Okay, but you've seen some on like TV? Yeah. Okay, any change in behavior after the experience? No. Okay. So have you heard of the, the phenomena of sleep paralysis? Yes. It's essentially when you're when you go to sleep and your mind remains active but your body is paralyzed and it's like something that can happen when you try to fall asleep. So do you yeah, think that, my daughter has it, my youngest one. Okay, so do you think that, that could be an explanation for, for the experience? That maybe it was like no. a Okay, and what what is your reason for uh, thinking that it's not? Never had that happen before. Okay. Um were you were you sleeping on your side or on your back? Back. Okay. That's interesting. Because um, uh, they say that sleep paralysis is more common when you lay on your back. So so do, do you typically sleep on your back or on your side? Is, was this like a change in how you typically slept? No. Okay. Um, so another thing that I've heard is that you've had uh, like spirit activity or like ghost-like experiences in your home. Is that true? Yes. Okay. Could you go into that and like tell some of the stories about that? Um, two little shadow girls, probably the ages of four and six maybe. Okay. And what happened with them? Well, my mother was here one time and was playing in hide and go seek with both of my daughters when they were younger. And she actually saw them. And I see them, but as fast as I see them is as fast as they go away. Any other experiences, like in your home? My, my mom saw uh, one little girl running around my tree out front when she pulled in one time and thought it was one of my daughters. And uh, what year uh, were these experiences happening in with the, the shadow people? Was that What year was that? Oh, it's probably been two years ago at least. But were there uh, prior experiences before then? Yes. Okay, what was the earliest uh, experience that you would think would be spiritual? The earliest would probably be 12 years ago. Okay, and what happened there? That's when my mom was here and she actually saw them playing hide and seek with my daughters. And then I have been laying in bed and heard the voice saying mama and it was a little girl. And my husband also heard that. Okay. And, and what do you think about these experiences? Mm, as long as they don't bother me, I won't bother them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Fair enough. Okay. And uh, how would you... I've always heard that you could... Uh, burn sage and stuff in your home to get rid of spirits and i've never done that uh well how do you uh rationalize these experiences do you think that your house is haunted or that you're haunted or what What do you think no i don't i don't believe in hauntings i think if it's a spirit it's just a spirit i think there's stuff out there especially spirits i believe in spirits okay but all, all of these happen at the same location though right right have you ever had uh encounters like that when you weren't at your house yes okay and what is that before I got married, I had an encounter of a white vision of a lady in my hallway, like in an old wedding dress. Okay, at what location? Was it a different home than the one you're in currently? Yes. Okay. Yes. So you've lived in two different locations and they both had, uh, like, spirit activity within them? Yes. Okay, so have you ever had that uh, elsewhere, like when you're not at your home? No. Okay. And uh, the one that was at the previous location, how many years ago was that? Probably the first time it started was about 12 years ago, and the last time, probably two years ago, maybe. Okay. What's what's the most uh, recent uh, experience that you would think would be like spirit activity or something like that? Um, let me think. Like someone sitting on the couch that was not there. It was, there was an imprint of a person sitting there. So did you ever have uh, odd experiences in childhood? Um, I had nightmares for two weeks that kept kept me from going to school. And what were those? Um, just visions that my mom said I saw. I can't remember it. Okay. Yeah, the, the alien experience you told, is that the only uh, encounter you've had that you would consider alien? Yes. Okay. Has everything else just been like spiritual? Just spiritual. So where, where do you think these experiences come from then? I have no idea. Fair enough. What about, like, uh, strange animals or, like, monster-type sightings? Um, Never seen a Sasquatch? Oh, yeah, I thought I saw a Sasquatch once. Um, it was probably, it was at night, right before dark. We was driving, driving on the road, and I looked to the left and saw something really, really big. It was tall, really wide, and I didn't get a very good look at it, but it was bigger than a bear. Okay, what was the coloration? Um, like a dark brown. Okay. Almost like cinnamon collar. Was that the only uh, like Sasquatch-like encounter you've had? 
Yes. Okay. Besides hearings. Like hearing sounds? Yes, at a lake. Okay, what did you hear? Um, I can do like a dove call with my mouth, and I was doing that with my girls, and something answered back to it. Okay, and what did it sound like? Just the same as what you made the sound? Yes, just like a big hoop sound. That happened several times. That's awesome. That's like the the whooping sounds. Yes, that's exactly what it sounded like. Okay. Um, ever heard like uh, tree knocks? Then that's another thing that people talk about with Sasquatch is like knocking on trees. No, at the time we just heard it like a hoop, hooping like hollering back at us. Like, did it sound like an ape? No, uh, kind of, kind of like that. It's hard to describe. Okay, but did it sound more like a bird then? No, it was not a bird. Okay. Anyone that you know, has anyone you know seen a, a Sasquatch or a, a strange creature that doesn't seem to be a normal animal? My youngest daughter uh, on the school bus going to school one morning, four years ago probably. It was shaped like a dog's body that had like a raccoon head, but it was a great big like dog's body. Huh. Was it, was it shaped like a, a person? Was it on two legs or, or what? No, it looked just like a dog, but it had like a raccoon head. Hmm. So it wasn't a Sasquatch. It was some other kind of like dog-like creature. Right. Interesting. Have you known anyone else who's seen like a, a Sasquatch or a Bigfoot or anything like that? No. Okay. What about uh, large birds, like birds that are normal, like larger than normal? Mm, no. What about uh, like lights in the skies or like UFOs? No. Okay. Or any kind of flying creature or maybe some uh, lake monsters or something swimming in the water that's not normal? Um. I've heard of a story of a dinosaur in a lake. Well, it wasn't actually in the lake. It was on, on the mountain, and the guy ran down and got in the lake because he was scared of it. Okay. What what lake was that? Plum Orchard Lake. Okay. Could you go into to that story if you remember it? Um, what I was told was uh, two men were going hunting. They were brothers, and one of the brothers let one of them off at the lake to go up on the mountain to hunt. He went up on the mountain, sat down beside a tree, opened his thermos to pour a cup of coffee and put his gun beside the tree and heard something in the woods and thought it was a deer and looked over and it was supposed to be an actual dinosaur looking down the hill at him. He dropped his coffee, left his gun and ran down to the water and got in the water and was screaming that his brother could hear him because he was screaming so loud and his brother got back in the boat and come and got him out of the middle of the lake took him to the truck he wouldn't tell his brother what had happened for like weeks that went by and finally he told his brother what had happened and his brother went back and got his gun and his coffee thermos okay and where did you hear that from um just stories that i've been told okay but you like it's not from the hunter it's like from someone else telling the story someone else told the story that i was supposed to actually knew the man okay so it was a dinosaur interesting yes any uh any other local legends or, or stories like that that you've heard? Any places uh, that you think are like has been told are haunted? Um, there was a house when I was growing up in front of us. It was supposed to be haunted, but I never saw anything there. It was just a lady who lived there said she saw something. Okay, you haven't heard any uh, stories like this person saw a Sasquatch or this person saw a UFO. Things like you know that someone's told you like local kind of stuff or just overall in West Virginia. Okay. Well, if you, you know, if anyone ever tells you a story like that, be sure to reach out to me and I'll, I'd love to interview them. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, do you uh, own any items that you would say are haunted? No. Okay. Have you ever owned any items that you would say are haunted? No. Okay. So, so you never lived in a, a haunted location? No. Ever visited a haunted location? No. Would you consider yourself to be psychic or to have any extrasensory perception? Um, no, not really. Okay. Have you had uh, ever had like premonitions or like predicting the future or anything like that? That something's gonna happen most of the time. Like um, I can feel like I, like my anxiety builds up and I have the fear that something's gonna happen. And within a couple of days, it usually does. Okay. Do you have any uh, examples you could give of when you thought something was gonna happen and then it did? Um, like examples with my brother. When my brother got sick, I had told my mom a couple of days ahead of time. Okay. And would you consider that uh, maybe natural intuition, or would you think that was more something paranormal or spiritual? Uh, I really couldn't say. It's just the feeling I get. Okay. Do you think everyone has that, or do you think that like that's something specifically you have, or what do you think about that? I've heard my mom and my sister also say they, they felt that way before. Okay. Uh, is it a, you think it's a common thing in your family? It may be. Okay. Um, you mentioned dreams before. Do you ever have dreams that come true? Um, no. My 
not that I can think of. Okay. Any uh, like kind of uh, weird dreams that you would view as something more than a normal dream? Just peaceful dreams. Like if someone's passed away and I feel that they're at peace if I have a dream of them. Have you had like uh, dream visitations where people have come to you in your dreams? No. Okay. Ever done like uh, lucid dreaming where you can kind of control your dreams? No. Okay. Anything like really like far out there, like astral projection or anything like that? Stepping outside your body? No. Okay. No. Hmm. One night I heard uh, sound like someone said mama, mm -hmm. and then I went to check on my girls, and my daughter thought she heard her name called, and it was n no one in the house. Okay, and what did the, the voice sound like? A little girl. Okay, so you just assumed that it was her, that it did sound like her? Yes. Okay, so you said you have you have two daughters, and then you have two apparitions. They're, they're like shadow girls, so do you think there's a connection there? Uh, yes, I think they're just like spirits that once wanted to play, and as all, my daughters got older, they no longer play. And uh, all these stories you told me uh, thus far, they all take place in West Virginia? Yes. Ever had any odd experiences outside of West Virginia? No. Okay. So um, one thing I want to ask is, uh, do you think that you could draw the, the alien visitors? If, like if you took a piece of paper and drew them, do you think you could do that? No, I could describe them to someone who can draw. Okay, so you couldn't, um, you know, couldn't draw what they look like? No, I'm not artistic at all. Okay, well it doesn't have to be like uh, a good drawing, it's kind of just a, a, like a witness sketch, like a rough estimate of what they might look like. Yeah, I could probably do that. Okay, if you can get like a blank piece of paper and, and draw them and then take a photo and send it to me, that'd be really cool. Okay. See if I got anything else here. I'm just, just kind of going down the list of, you know, odd things to see what you've experienced. Um, have you ever uh, tried to do, like, paranormal investigating, like, ghost overnight type stuff? No. Okay, any interest in things like that? Yeah, I'd be interested. But you do you, like, read books, watch documentaries, or are you, like, into that sort of thing? No. Okay. A any of your kids interested in that sort of thing? Uh, my daughter, my oldest daughter. Okay, interesting. Uh, okay, here's another one then. Uh, what about, like... Uh, divination or like uh, superstitions and things like that? Mm, just by broken mirrors. I know that's supposed to be bad luck. Okay, but do you have like any superstitions that you adhere to or any kind of uh, spiritual practice that you adhere to? No. Okay. Um, what about like some kind of like folk magic or witchcraft or anything like that? No. Okay. I think that's uh, the main things there. Got down the, the list of all those things. Uh, any other uh, odd experiences or odd encounters you think sh uh, should be known? Not that I can think of, right? Not that I think of right now. Okay. Uh, do you think that you'll continue to have uh, encounters like that at your home, or do you think I it's pretty much? I haven't had those the shadow girls in the, quite some time. So, do you think those are uh, like a no longer a continuing thing? They're like. Yeah, I don't. I don't think the shadow girls are here any longer because my daughters are older now. I just think they were spirits and was lonely and had no one to play with. That's interesting. Do you think there was anything else that? Uh, you know, made these experiences happen more often? Did you notice anything like this happened and then this would happen? You know, any causing effect? No, nope. they were just here when they were playing or in their room. Uh, what, was there any uh, strange smells or electrical interference or anything during these experiences? No. Okay. There was a uh, man in a black tall top, uh, hat in my bedroom door one night. Hmm. Was it a, a shadow figure or was it a person? It was lev it was like levitating off the ground. Big black long coat on with a black top hat. Okay. Top and hat. I know that wasn't like a shadow because I had the like a little light on in mm -hmm. another room and you can actually tell it was something Okay, but did it did it look like a person or did it look like a shadow, like a silhouette? No, you could see like a silhouette of a per of a of a man's face. You could actually tell it was a man. Okay. And it was a, a top hat. Big, tall top hats. Okay. That's interesting. And did anything happen with that? Nope. Okay. Did he just uh, appear and disappear? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You said it was in your bedroom door. Where, was this when you were trying to sleep? Yeah, I had just laid down. And you don't think that also could have been some kind of dream or drifting off type thing? No, I was wide awake. I had just laid down in the bed. Okay. And uh, did your, your partner see that as well or no? No. Okay. Have you ever had an experience where you and uh, another person both saw the same thing at the same time? No. But the the voice thing that was heard by you and your daughter. And uh, my husband heard the voice, the little girl's voice one night at the end of the bed. She said, Mama. He said, did you hear that? And I said, yes, it'll go away. We used to hear music play and I could hear music. 
like pianos. I could hear pianos playing. Okay. No, no recognizable songs or anything like that? No, just piano. Okay, that's like interesting. Like the old organ style pianos. Yep, that's interesting that um, you, multiple people have heard things. Um, my oldest daughter has saw a white figure at the end of my bar levitating. Okay. Anything happen with that? No. Yeah, but it sounds like the, the same thing over and over again, like they, they appear and then they're gone and that sort of thing. They, they, yeah. ever, they ever give any kind of message or say anything or impart any information to you? My daughter has heard um, like a woman's voice muttering, but she can't tell what she's saying. She actually tried to record it a couple weeks ago when she heard it, and she couldn't get no recording on it on her phone. Hmm, okay. So you've never been able to get any kind of uh, photo or video or sound of any of this? No, I've never tried. Okay. Do you think it happens more often at nighttime or like when you guys are trying to sleep or things like that? Um, evening time is when we saw the shadow girls. Okay. What about the, the white apparition? What did the, was that have a shape to it? What did it look like? Do you know? I'm not sure. You, you'd have to ask her. Okay. And was that uh, daytime, nighttime? I'm thinking it was during the day because I was next door. Okay. What, what year was that, you said? Um, it's been a couple of years ago, probably two years maybe. Okay. Was it a, a full-sized adult or was it also children? She said it was an actual woman. Okay. Very interesting. Okay, I think and that's... She's also saw a dark-haired, dark-haired lady on the couch. Yeah. So it sounds like a lot of experiences that I'd also, like, you know, have to talk to them about as opposed to hearing them secondhand, but, you know. Mm -hmm. So any other first-hand experiences and things that that you've, um, you know, had in in your home or just anywhere? No, my youngest daughter thought she saw her aunt that passed away, like, two weeks after she had passed away at the cemetery. Hmm. Okay. Does anyone in your household that you would consider psychic or that has some kind of extrasensory perception? No. Okay, they ever uh, have premonitions that come true? No. Okay, like uh, some, I could say some like out there stuff, like any uh, telekinesis, like uh, being able to move objects, being able to hear other people's thoughts, other like really far out there stuff like that, no? No. Um, have you ever known anyone that is like a, a UFO researcher, especially like back in the day? Because, you know, there, there are people who kind of collect folklore stories and stuff like that. Have you ever known anyone like that? No. Okay, because uh, I would love to find, you know, People like that, and who, especially people who have like files and things like that, and right. see see what they've got. Right. Okay. If you ever meet someone like that who's like really into to UFOs or like Sasquatch and things like that, then especially mm-hmm. if they're local, then let me know. Yes, that'd be interesting. I think that about covers all the all the bases there. Is there anything else to, to say before I end this off and, and stop recording? No, I think that's it. Okay. Well, thank you very much for for telling me your stories and sharing your experiences. You're welcome. Okay. Peace. And so ends our interview. For further commentary, I will add that we had further discussions, in which I asked if there were any miraculous or miracle-type encounters. She said there were not. I will add that in my personal opinion, I think this experience could be explained as some kind of sleep paralysis. Those who study anomalous phenomena know that alien encounters and poltergeist often go hand in hand, but according to this witness, the poltergeist experiences were actually happening prior to the alien encounter. So the ghost-like experiences being a byproduct or after-effect of the alien encounter probably doesn't work here, considering those seem to have happened first. You could also potentially view the alien encounter as a part of the poltergeist experience, a vision taking on the guise of the aliens you'd see on TV. The witness agreed that I could record and publish this call. I hope you've enjoyed. If you or anyone you know have experienced anomalous phenomena here in West Virginia or Appalachia, please email me at AppalachianOddity at gmail.com. For more reports of the strange and mysterious, check out AppalachianOddity.org. Thanks for watching, and mountaineers are always free.